Hello and welcome. This is Rufal Monger, my friends. We now have our latest DLC character for season three, and to probably the surprise of some, some thought this day would never happen. It is indeed ABBA. Through the power of modern graphics, ABBA a bit more unhinged, <laughs> I guess you could say, than ever before, but she's still a crazy stance based character. This time around, we have our quote unquote normal state and jealous rage state. And like before, one's a little bit slower and the other one is absolutely unhinged in how fast and crazy it is. Now, before we do the usual breakdown thing you expect, the key, the crazy big key she's swinging around, that's actually her husband. And before you say anything, hey, this is Guilty Gear, okay? Like this is how stuff works in Guilty Gear. Sometimes you're just an artificial homunculus like Abba who happens to have a key as a husband. That's just how things go. Abba's not a bad person, but she's also not the sharing kind of person either. Being a lab-grown construct means her social skills were never top-notch, exactly. She's coming out soon, March 26th. That is not too long from now. Also, we're getting another stage, and we're getting a patch as well. So, the stage, you may remember it. Uh, it's a slightly different angle here. I guess you could call this a sequel stage to Heaven's Edge. We got the water, we got the coral reef, we got the gigantic monoliths in the background, we got all of that, just from a different perspective this time around. Which actually, I think it's really, really cool. Like legitimately, I dig it. Also, hey, roadmap, right? So we got three of our four characters for season three, and the last one, hey, we gotta wait a little bit longer just yet. But that all said, let's break down the trailer and the gameplay now of ABBA. So I guess the first thing is, hey, there's been a bit of a redesign. Obviously everyone has new threads, new looks, but a big one is hairstyle and hair color have changed up from before. Still got like that escaped patient look, sure, but certainly I guess a different vibe than the base ABBA. That said though, the look works. Uh, she looks extra crazy this time around, extra desperate, extra maybe even violent. Looks a lot more likely to stab you than the usual crazy girl archetype. So we start off a little basic here. So counter hit, crouching, heavy slash, which does launch the enemy. And then this looks like say close slash into heavy slash, something like that. In the trailers, we always start small, then ramp up big, right? So in our next example, Abba's busting out something pretty fantastic here. Uh, goes in like close slash slash, sure. But uh, this guy here, I don't know if it's like a new command normal or like a totally revamped uh, 6P forward punch. Uh, but it looks cool, and especially like the little bounce effect, like using it kind of like a pogo. I dig it. The animation quality is always obviously really good in Guilty Gear Strive. Here, a lovely little character moment. Obviously, Elfelt's all about love and everything. And hey, Abba already has true love. So obviously enough, Elfelt is jealous, I guess. Now, another classic for Strive character trailers is showing the big dust combo, right? And I just want to say her expression is top notch while doing the dust. Now here's where some of the magic starts. I mentioned earlier how she's a stance character, right? So this is the stance switch. So we start here, this looks like her quarter circle forward kick, and then we go into bonding. Normally this is half circle back, heavy slash, although new game could be any input, but bonding is how we switch stances. As you can see her pal, the key, a slightly different look this time around. He looks happy switching over, but Abba looks uh, very distressed. And this is how she enters her jealous rage state. Traditionally in her base level, she's very slow and defensive, but once she has that sense switch happen, then she becomes like turbo quick, turbo offensive, no more slow poke, can run like a madman. Different game obviously, so not everything's gonna be one to one, but still the stance switch is very much still a thing. We can see here with her invincible super, it also automatically switches you into the stance. So happy go lucky key, not so much anymore. Now we got like an inky oily head and also the key part is now just straight up a battle ax. Also naturally everyone's got their taglines, all consuming flame of jealousy or love, depending on how you look at it. Now here's some interesting stuff. So we see a wild assault and she just goes directly into the stance. So before she had a blood bag mechanic, it was basically uh, just like a one-off deal where you didn't have to enter with a move. You can burn one of your blood bags and change stance at will. So here being more cinematic, we're not too sure if we have that mechanic or not. But there's definitely a way to stance change on demand on the spot. 
Then we go into a crouch slash, I'm assuming. And then quarter circle forward kick here. Once again, the animations are top notch here. They look really good. But this bad boy is also definitely an overhead. Soul is crouching and gets smacked something fierce. Next up, we have an air dash with maybe jump heavy slash. Looks like a hell of a cross up regardless. And I just want to call attention to the animation again here. Her run while in stance looks absolutely unhinged in the best way. Maybe it took a long time to get the ABBA, but uh, don't worry, it was worth the wait. And when she catches Chip with the throw, it's like literally just scratching his eyes out, just like pure insanity. I like it so much. Here we see Eno flying her way in, and obviously uh, ABBA has multiple moves in the different stances. So this is, uh, I'm assuming her stance dragon punch motion heavy slash. Uh, much better animation than the original uh, AC plus R for sure. Looks really cool. Basically used as like a dragon punch or reversal. And since it hits his counter hit, we get a follow up attack after the fact. Here we get a look at a super. Now, just like the older game too, the stances have their own unique supers. So she's going to have a bit more supers than the rest of the cast more than likely. Using jealousy stance to like summon some straight up like eldritch horrors. Uh, pretty grody looking. And then from there, we see another jealousy stance, little taunt here. Uh, once again, I keep using the term unhinged, but it's what fits, right? Like we can see here in the lead up to the cinematic super, which of course they don't show in full. They never show in the trailers. But what you're seeing here is not like tee hee, I'm cute, Harley Quinn ripoff, like Jinx or Jury or whatever. Like this is like actual like desperate and sandy. And I just really dig that vibe. They're going for capital C crazy, not corporate crazy. And that's the trailer, and I wish I had more for you, but that's what we got at the moment. Once again, ABBA launches fairly soon on the 26th, so we don't have too, too long to wait. And again, coming with ABBA is uh, the new stage and also a small patch, adding some balance changes and also new moves. We always have new moves with these patches, and Milia is getting a new move at the very least. But this trailer is more of a teaser than anything, right? ABBA is a pretty complex character. She's a proper full stance character. The stances wildly change the way she plays, and uh, while they're certainly showing us that she still remains a stance character, we only get the littlest taste of what's actually going on here. Most characters making the jump to strive get some pretty big changes, and I'm just really looking forward to seeing what those changes will be, especially for ABBA. Like, I know ABBA's always been almost like the meme for so long, people asking for the character, and hey, she's finally actually here. You are gonna get ABBA. It looks like the core will still be there. Your base stance will be slower and jealousy stance is where things start getting really crazy. Will she still keep her limited blood bag resource mechanic? Because one of the things about the character is when she's in like the second stance, the crazy stance, right? She loses health when she's attacking, right? So she also has to worry about things like self healing. Will that still remain a factor? Hey, we don't know. It's just not in the trailer. I will say uh, in a game with such already top notch uh, animations, like, no one could ever fault Guilty Gear Strive for having bad animations, right? She does look like a step above. The flavor, the madness of ABBA is definitely really well captured here. But I guess that's it for the moment. That's it for now. So this is your first look at ABBA. When she actually properly comes out on the 26th, I'll have more videos for you. We'll see how far everything goes. But until then, that's the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And go out and play some Guilty Gear.